Hello, I am going to show you one of my favorite post-workout treats. So in my personal plan, I have um, 200 calories of carbohydrate to follow my workout up. And one of the things that I tend to go to is cake and I make a mug cake. So I just wanna walk through kind of how to figure that out. And you know, obviously like cake mixes have oil and eggs and all that kind of stuff, but we don't need that. We don't need any of that. So all you need is like a calorie free soda, whether it's Diet Sprite, Diet 7-Up, you know, a Diet Sierra Mist. I've got Fresca. You could use a sparkling water such as bubbly, um, anything or any, you know, like plain flavored sparkling water works just fine. But you want something with carbonation. If it doesn't have carbonation, the cake gets a little bit heavy and flat. Uh, but if you use something with the carbonation, it works awesome. So I can look at my label and it tells me that there's 180 calories in a serving. Now I could just make it easy on myself and do the 180 calories. And then I could use my extra 20 calories for something else like whipped cream or something that I would want to put on it. Um, or maybe frosting. I personally prefer cake without frosting. So I'm going to use my full 200. So I get 200 calories, but there's 180 calories in here. So I'm gonna take 200 and divide it by 180. And that gives me a number, it's 1.1111. And then I'm gonna multiply this by how many grams are in a serving, which is 48. So multiply that by 48. It tells me I can have 53 grams of cake mix. So I'm gonna grab a bowl and a fork, actually a spoon because then I don't have to dirty another dish. So I'm going to weigh out 53 grams of my cake mix. I personally like, I love this um, gluten-free Pillsbury brand Funfetti. I don't need to eat gluten-free. I used to eat gluten-free all the time. Um, but there we go. I just love the flavor of this one. So I always get it. Okay, so I've got my cake mix in there. And now I'm not gonna waste my soda, I'll end up drinking it. But you're gonna start slow with the soda because it'll get all fizzy and bubbly and then just stir it in a little bit. And you wanna just repeat this process until you have something that is a cake-like, you know, cake batter-like consistency. And it's funny because it gets kind of foamy, fizzy, bubbly. So you want to just go slow on the liquid at first because you don't want to get too much in there. And then with my protein powder, because a lot of my clients, we just do a protein shake with your carbohydrate right afterwards. The benefit of a protein shake is that you get a faster absorption rate as opposed to like if you had to eat the food, but, and then it's just super convenient. And I love my protein powder because I make protein ice cream and it feels like the biggest treat in the world. Okay, so I just use this, it's just a zero calorie coconut oil spray. I'm gonna spray the inside of my mug just a little bit. It's not spraying very well, I wipe it off. And then I'm gonna dump my cake mix into the mug. And if you're one that loves to lick the bowl, um, I won't tell anybody, you can go ahead and lick your bowl. I might have done that before. I might do it. I might, you never know what happens after I shut this video off. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. My microwave is a little bit weak, so I'm gonna do two minutes. And while that is going, then we will make the ice cream. So for the ice cream right now, I have a Vitamix and I just have some cubes in there with, I start with about a fourth of a cup. I do cashew milk 
unsweetened cashew milk. Always salt. I put salt in there because there will be a huge difference in the flavor of your protein ice cream with salt and without salt. So use the salt. And then I add a little extra sweetening, sweetener with this new naturals. This is a stevia product. So it's no sugar, no calories. And then I have my protein powder weighed out. Dump that in. And then I'm just gonna start mixing it up. treat ever like one day the kids wanted to go to B and G and don't get me wrong I mean I love myself some ice cream but it's like I didn't even want it I wanted this I was craving this um, and you could have fun with this too like you could you could do like a vanilla one and then put like caramel extract in it and salt. So you have like a salted caramel ice cream. You could do like True Teen is the brand of protein that it's my favorite. That one is like hands down my favorite protein. I have tried so many proteins. That one, it mixes the best. It tastes the best. It's affordable. It's high quality. I love it. And then they offer samples as well. So I'm not affiliated with them, but I'm just saying that's what I prefer. Um, but they have so many flavors. So they have like a banana one and you, so you could do like a caramel banana flavor or uh, they have a cookies and cream one. Um, that would be a really fun one. Like if you had some calories left to play with, you could top it with some cool whip or something. So let's check on the cake. There we go. I have myself like a nice cupcake perfection. So I have cake and ice cream. 
yeah, nobody's complaining about this. This is awesome.